pairs have had wildly different 2023s, I can Hugh tell Bonin you. From Korea. And this is quite the pair, Baekhana and Lee Sohee. Very much in form. But as a pair, very recently set up, and that's why this is their debut at the World Championships. Lee Sohee, of course, a very established player, very experienced player. And they're so fast and they're so quick. And this pair, along with Kim and Kong, who are actually on court right now, I can tell you. Um, on court four, taking on Jung and Jung. They really have been bagging up titles, and not just titles, but making appearances at the business end of tournaments throughout the year. Ready for the coin toss and playing in that Korean pink strip. Bake and Lee with a 2 nothing lead last Lee, time Beck, they met red at the All black England. one do you choose? Red, black for you girls. Black, your choice. That side, and uh, Beck serves and receives. Rahayu receives. Thank you. Well, they'll be up for this one, and it's going to be a treat for the fans as well. Bjarni Rahayu, 25 years old, one in Lawulo in Indonesia. He has been as high as world number three with the great Gracia Poli. That was in September of 2018. And she's also been as high as four with her current partner, and that was earlier this year. There is City Fadia Silva Ramadhanti on Bogo in Indonesia. And there's confirmation of that gold medalist at the Olympic Games in 2020. And I think that's the stat you really got to work up with. But double bronze medalist at the World Championships as well, 2018 and 2019. And that was their road to this third round, by in the first round. And then it was Yela and Zeeland from the Netherlands, 59 minutes. Three games. Bekhana, the younger part of the pairing, 22, but already so well established in terms of her results, has to be said. And together they have picked up just a number of titles. They were quarterfinalists in Japan, quarterfinalists in Korea, they won the Indonesian Open, they were second in Singapore, they were third at the Swiss Open, third in Spain, second at the All England, first. Germany. I mean, it really has been a wonderful year for them and such an important year, of course, in terms of that qualification as well. That's their result in round two after receiving a bye, being the number two seeds, Corbett and Lee, 21-14, 21-13 in 35 minutes. Ready to play. Umpire for this one, Yasan Sairaili. Service judge, Michael Stair. said there's quality on either side of the net but I have to say that Bacon Lee are going to have the upper edge if they can get into that fast pattern that they do get into very attacking pair very aggressive pair it's going to be all up to Rahayu and Robert Hanti as to how they can negotiate their way past that weather the storm and then try and initiate their own attacks Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, 
Baek Hanna and Lee Seo Hee, Korea. And on my left, Apriyani Rahayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti, Indonesia. Baek Hanna to serve to Apriyani Rahayu. Love all. Play. Oh, nice opening salvo from Indonesia Indonesian pair. Love. Start. Hayu proving to be very effective. Hey. So over one, two. He just oh. looking to jump in and snatch that point. Didn't work out. on the attacking initiative. And it's a missed defence by Lee So He. Two. So far, so good. Good start. It's always going to be a high-quality match. And it looks like it's already started towards hey. that end. <laughs> what a defense by I think it was Rahayu. Yes, it was. Three all. Lee So he looking to get that big shot from backcourt. The through the legs defense that works. Of course, it usually comes back too high, which is what happened. But in terms of reflexes, unbelievable. Service over, four, three. Wow, oh, this is a fantastic start by Rahayu and Ramadanti. Wasting no time to get on the shuttle. Taking the first two point lead here. Hey, 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 hey. 
And again, nice kill into the Six, open space. Three. So, Daphne reading the match on the game so far as it's evolving. And very worthy of this three-point lead. Ayu and Ramad Hanti Seven, haven't exactly had three. the worst of years, it has to be said. Quarter finalists in the Indonesian Open, the Malaysian Masters, third at the Swiss Open. Quarter finalists at the All England. And kicked it off in January, the Malaysia Open with a third spot as well. So, all in all, looking good. Eight, three. And Lee So He and Beg Han are so far trying to get into that attacking formation that we know from them so well, but just not being able to do it because Rahayu and Ramad Hanti are coming up even sooner into that attack. And defence has been solid. Oh! And as you can see, Ramad Hanti there Nine, moving forward nicely. Three. So he again looking for all that power. This time forces the error on the outside. Nine. Service oh. over. Ten. Four. You just see them trying to get Ramadanti. Don't show your fist to your opponent, okay? Tempo is possible. Bacon Lee. But Rahayu and Ramadanti have been equal to it so far. And as always, playing with a big smile on their faces, and that's a good thing to see. Five, ten. So he at the moment, Bay Khan are just watching her partner. There she is into the plate. Oh! Again, over. 11 5. What a start double. for the Indonesians. 11 5. Seven minutes done. Go to 20 seconds. Go to 20 seconds. Back receipt. So, back on court, the second part of game one. So, Gronian, what do you think so far? 11, yeah, five, Amazing start from the play. Indonesians. Yeah, they've really come flying out of the gates. I think maybe yesterday's match being a close three that set was a bit of a wake-up call for them that they need to step it up here at the World Champs. And I think they're doing just that. The Koreans don't, not really 12, finding their five. footing here. These kind of shots, they're, I think they're going for a bit too much, trying to, trying to create something out of nothing sometimes when they can just play a safer option, get into the rally a bit more. They haven't really found their rhythm yet. Yeah, it looks like they've been trying to, to, to really get into that fast tempo game that they always play, but they just haven't been allowed to. Yeah, the Indos have you know great skill where they can change the pace at will and play all these amazing angles that the Koreans... Typically, they just have a very Service kind over. of hard Six, and fast 12. style where they just try and overpower their opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just full-on attack, wave after wave after wave. Yeah. And I think that's exactly what they've been trying to do. Lee So-hee, especially from the backcourt, has been trying to get into that action. 
But um, as you said, angles, really nice angles from Rahayu Ramadhanti. Put, so far, put that strategy to bed. Oh. Some point in the 13, net had to play six. its usual role. But they have a buffer in this first game. Out for them, but Seven, I don't think I've actually 30. seen Lee So he play a soft shot yet. <laughs> there was one drop, one disguise drop that she took. But apart from that, it's just trying to get into hey. full power. Hey. It's definitely what they're most comfortable with. Yes. Yeah. We have drills that we do that are called like the Korean drill, where you just <laughs> are working on power and hitting hard and flat and doing stuff with the heavy racket. That's because of Classic. just their style. It's amazing. 14, yeah. 7. The European coaches, make, they just yeah, name drills after the countries that are good <laughs> at that skill. So there's a Malaysian drill as well where you're taking the shuttle low and taking the pace out. And going for 200 shot rallies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. Indonesian badminton, of course, so well diversified these days in so many disciplines. And they do have... So many, as you said earlier, tools in the toolbox. They've got a lot of them. Whether it's 15, in singles, seven. women's or men's. Also likes Jonathan Christie, Anthony Ginting. They've got so many top players in the top hey. 20 in so many hey. disciplines. Absolutely fervent support. Badminton community in Indonesia. In fact, I have to say, in Indonesian Open and the Indonesian Masters, which I was privileged enough to commentate on this year, the atmosphere 16, in the Astoris Alliance is unbelievable. It's like, almost like a football match. Mm, yeah. Couldn't hear myself actually commentate because yeah. it was so loud. It's the same on court. You can't hear yourself think, let alone talk to your partner or coach. It's, it's wild there. So 16-7 and this wonderful approach from the Indonesian pair. Is still paying back dividends. Hitting them with their own power, keeping it very flat. Seven. Really walking all over them yeah. here. I haven't I haven't seen Bacon Lee at 17 or 717 down for a good few tournaments. And I said they've been performing pretty much, if not at every tournament, but every two tournaments, they've been hitting the business end. And, oh. Just out. Seems like they're over. playing Eight. a bit reactionary. 17. They're just like, I want to play this, so yeah. I'm just going to hit it. Not as much thought in an intention in what they're playing. Yeah, it looks like the, the Korean pair are trying to move into a formation, whereas the Indonesian pair are <laughs> essentially just taking it as it comes. Mm. So over. 18. Eight. Well, they got that chance now. And this serve. Uh, should at least get them closer to a shot at claiming this first game. I'm expecting a fight back from Bacon Lee, obviously. Maybe not in this first game. That might be a bridge too far for them. But second, again, Lee So he looking for that power. Service over. 9 18. Al oh, Rahayu just. Gleefully smiling at everything, even when she loses the point. Yeah. I think that's something Grazia <laughs> taught her. Yeah, I said, personally, I think that's a wonderful attitude towards life. Mm. And I think it's a great attitude to have towards badminton as well. A smile will take you a very long way. A sense of humor, probably even further. Again, Lisa, he looking for, oh, that was just wide. Then. No Thank challenges. You. We haven't seen challenges on court two for a while. Yeah. That one was close enough. You think? No, no, it was fully out. <laughs> Based on that replay, that was fully out. Sorry, <laughs> right, you built some good yeah, suspense hey, there. <laughs> sometimes you've just got to fess up. 11, 18. It's 
So 11-18, scoreline looking a little bit more respectable, but still not the kind of scoreline you'd expect for Bacon Lee. And it has very much been about who hit the ground running here in this first game. And they haven't been allowed to get into their pattern and their game. Rahayu. And Robert Hanty have been equal to the task. Nice from Bake. 12, Kept that flat 18. now. So four point run so nope. far. Leon. And this is the first Coach. real traction Coach. that they've got in this first game. There's the variation from Rahayu. Ah! Raman Hanti just making it steeper and steeper every time. So they've got their 19th point. 19, 12. Absolutely nothing working for the Korean pair at the moment, and it's eight game, game points. Point 12. Hey. Oh. 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 taking a softer approach finally. Game. But again. First game won by Apriani Rahayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti 21 12. Still lacking a little bit of accuracy as we look at it. This was the last point. I'm <laughs> not Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. As they get back on court for game two, here's an interesting story for Rahayu. Apparently, when she was very young, she used to spend all of her energy beating up all the boys in the neighborhood. <laughs> really? And in of that. because of that, her father then said, why don't you take that energy and you put it into badminton. Mm -hmm. And now, of Second course, game. she's an Olympic gold medalist. <laughs> so it just Love gives all. you an idea as to how much those boys got beaten up. Play. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. So on we go, game two. And they can play with a little bit more calmness and confidence now from the better side of the court as well. It's just been a fantastic 
performance by Mahayu and Ramadhanti. I thought they were smacking it pretty hard just One, in that first game, but now they can really unload. A couple of targeting errors, shall we say, from Bacon Lee. Not quite finding that height over the net that they need. Trying to keep it as flat as possible, but still just clipping the tape. It was a two-love lead. Not critical yet, but as I said, the way this match has been evolving, they need to find something. Bacon Lee, there's an easy kill for Roman Hanti. Three, love. Things just not firing for the Koreans hey. at the moment. Hey. It's just gone wide. Try to guide it hey. to the One, left side. Three. As you can see, the Korean coaches not too happy with this failure to launch is how I'm going to turn this so far. Bacon Lee have just literally turned the key, but the engine hasn't started. Wow, big drift taking it there on that Service side. Over. Four, one. Right, that's a dangerous corner to be aiming for anywhere. Yeah, exactly. She did have options on that shot as well. Didn't have to. But I guess right now they're just looking for any angle they can. Oh, there's a late take from Bake. It's given the advantage to Rahayu and Ramanhanti, and it was just coming back with power and angle. Challenges called out. You really don't see the Koreans blocking Sorry, very in. much in their defense. It's always hard. Hard drives, hard lifts. Yeah. I'm trying the challenge option now. I actually didn't get a good look at that. It could be. Let's have a look. That's why the the undisputed truth. Of well, I've just heard it's in, and it is very much in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five, one, play. As I said, not critical just yet, but not looking good at all. Indeed. Out. Service over. Two, five. And now I guess it's up to Rahayu and Robert Hanti also not to fall into any kind of complacent action, thinking that this is just going so well for them. Ah! To keep up that pressure. That was a Service over. strange return. Six, two. Almost like she just really didn't get a handle on it. Yeah, I think her racket face wasn't facing the right direction. Shuttle's just so slow that it's really hard when you're getting smashes from the back to then lift it again to the back. A lot of half-court lifts there off the Koreans' rackets. That's why it's so useful to use a block every now and then yeah. to just neutralize the rally. Paul. Oh. Service over. Three. Tiny miscommunication from the Indonesian ladies.
four, six. Again, it's good to win the odd point. Perhaps they still haven't found a way yet to do a string of points. That's what they need. It's gone. Oh, that's in. No challenge coming. Five, six. Quick response oh. by Bakana. So Tied it up at six. Good chance here for the Koreans to get back into this match. the court please good leave yeah service over i'm Seven, guessing in that corner you could six. probably leave three out of four yeah thank Still you playing that reactive strategy for Hayu and ramadanti but it seems to be working for them Slight edge in this second game, not half as saturated as it was in the first. Koreans playing with a little bit more guile and creativity. Oh, fake out there from Rowan Hunty, and the big power's coming back. Well, I guess if you're from that side, they've got to pull in those lengths. Eight, six. Losing a lot of points on that backcourt baseline. Koreans are too powerful. Yeah. Just can't keep it Play. within the lines. Almost the most beautiful drop in. I think it was out. Over. Yes, Seven, it was. Yeah, it if she left hers <laughs> for the drift, probably would have taken it out. Yeah, well, there's hardly any contact, just touched it. Oh, that does look like it was wind assisted. now in and again they just have to wait for that opportunity service over to push it nine back. seven that's essentially how they've maintained this lead now for the last three points play out the rally wait for the mistake you can see it written all over Liso Liso he's face they've got to Conquer their own demons, really. There's another one that's gone wide. 10 7. 10 7. Suspiciously, like it may have been drifting out as well, but still in play. Well left. Service over. Eight, ten. Well, a little Player. bit more compact Player. from the Koreans Player. now. 
But still, it just looks like it's a situation where they might win the odd point. And I don't know if they're going to overturn and start really pushing ahead. And that's what they need to do. They're going to climb this mountain of the task that they have ahead of them. It's gone long. City, Fadia, wow. Silva, Ramadanti, challengers called out. I think she's going to be lucky if that comes in. Still, Seth just looks so happy. Yep, she was really very lucky. If challenge that was and successful. <laughs> One challenge remaining. Nine, ten. Play. I think what I have to ask, seeing as how there is a doubles player sitting right next to me, give us an insight into the signals behind the back, the codes at serve. Yeah, all countries or pairs kind of have their own. So typically, I guess, most people would just do a flick or a short serve signal. I don't know which one is which specifically for this yeah, pair. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to assign them, but that's that's where that's what they would, they would uh, define. Yeah, or like for myself, we do four signals across the short line. So one, two, three, four. So T, and then two is, you know, the inside of the body. Three is across the body and four is wide. Okay. Because that can change, you know, um, like which angle they're going to hit, either side of the body. And then flick. Oh, back on court Amadanti, now. Back on court. That's fantastic. And generally speaking, as I said, they do work, these signals. I mean, you... Yeah, I think it just gives you a little bit of insight I into... As to which way you're going to go. Yeah, yeah, you can just, nine. like, guess a little bit more of Play. where they're going to hit. Yeah. Kind of orchestrate the point as a general idea as opposed to kind of predict what's going to happen. Yeah. I find it a lot more helpful in mixed doubles as well especially when the guy is serving behind me, that I 12, can nine. know what to expect from of what they're going to hit because I have so little time at the front as the girl to yeah, react right, to what's yeah, coming. Right so to the position. Yeah, it's really important, I think, for the mixed doubles. So, very important phase of play now for Bacon Lee. Hey! So, over, 10, 12. And you'd think right about now, this is where they're going to have to try and forge ahead if they can. Out. Service over. 13. 10. Well, I can almost see the tumbleweed as the breeze pushed that across. <laughs> oh, late take, but she did well. All that power comes firing 14, back. Just had to 10, offset her Lee, a couple of feet. Lee, that was it. Use your towel. Don't throw sweat. And that was the one. Quickly. Did great to get to it, but out of position after that. All that power starts coming back. Thank you. And it's 14-10. Dangerous times for the Korean pair. Silver, 11, 14. Well, just yesterday we saw Kim and Kong come back from a similar situation. And that was different. They weren't really playing Olympic gold medalists. <laughs> and that is no respect, no disrespect to Su and Lin from Chinese Taipei. But their defending was unbelievable. It was okay. 
smart play by Rahayu. Great rally in the end. So Steve Jack Bangle. Silver, 15, 11. Right, he's literally smiling yeah. the whole rally. <laughs> She's like loving the it. The happiest player <laughs> I've seen all week. <laughs> I mean, there's passion for the game. Yeah. And then there's strangely super happy, <laughs> almost euphoric. <laughs> Uh, it is a pretty cool job. <laughs> you get to just play such an awesome game as your job. That's true. Straight on to the power because they can afford to being five, four points up. Oh, there's a nice little variation. Oh, that's out. So Seems to be a little bit more Wilde, steep on that. 15. So, Baker now, at least so he's currently benefiting from a couple of errors from Mahayu and Ramadanti. If those shots Ramadanti. had been pulled in, it would be 17 12 now, and they have to remember that. They haven't still broken through. Still going to be a difficult job for them. And they can't afford to do that. Lisa here getting very yep. frustrated. Yeah. Well. Getting very, very frustrated. So 16 12. And it's into those problem points if you're chasing 16, 17, 18. They come with a psychological baggage. Rapidly getting to that no mistakes allowed area. And of course for Ayu and Ramadanti, well they they'll do that all day. Now they can start putting the variations in because really they could just keep smashing big smiles on their faces for the rest of the match. Two beautifully controlled shots there. from Fadia. So 17-12 on serve, and all looking good. The 2020 Olympic gold medalists. Just couldn't get a hold of Service that one. Over. 13, 17. Quick, on court. by Rahayu. Oh, tricky shot. Defending well enough, the Indonesians just to keep the Koreans locked in this rally. And then the error. Just can't find that attacking angle. Mm. 18, 13. It is a very hard and flat game, this one. <laughs> Neither pair blocking a whole lot. But with every point, there's that big smile again. With every point that Rahayu and Ramanati get, they can be a little bit more freer with the next point in terms of attacking. They could easily Three. smash their way Ready through this. Receive. Five points up. Her cheeks must get sore. <laughs> a three-setter, like an hour and a half, just gritting the whole time. She must have strong cheek muscles. <laughs> just made me think that maybe she smiles all day. <laughs> like she forever. just sleeps with a smile. <laughs> just Thank walking on her sleeping, she's lying there. Joker-like, smiling all day. 
And mum's such coming a... up going, what is it with you? Why you were smiling? <laughs> Came out of the womb, grinning. <laughs> but she's... Beating up the... boys, smiling all throughout. <laughs> Oh, it's another mistake, and at this rate, it's Jamie heads Silva, beginning to drop. 19, 14. The number two seeds are all at sea. She definitely has a reason to smile. Yeah. Progressing yes. likely to progress through to the quarterfinals. I don't think that's it. I think she, I think it's something else. <laughs> at least she has a very nice smile. Well, you know what I'm going to do after this match? I'm going to get on the internet, type out every picture I have of Rahayu and see 14. if she's got that grin on. <laughs> Charting back from like 2015 <laughs> onwards. <laughs> no, I reckon since maybe she partnered Grazia, she's yeah. probably yeah. become a lot more smiley. I know Grazia was very into like yeah. positive and enjoying the match. Unbelievable. 21-14. They only needed one match point, 40 minutes, and the number two seeds ousted in spectacular fashion. Wow, well, Rahayu and Ramanhanti have really caused a stir here. Match won by Apriyani Rahayu and Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti, 21-12, 21-14. Unbelievable performance by them. There's confirmation of it. Number two seeds ousted in 41 minutes. And it's Rahayu and Rambanhanti on to the quarterfinals. Coming up next, it's the women's singles. Rachnok Intanon, Nozomi Okuhara. It's a battle of former champions. Don't go anywhere.
So back on court two here at the World Championships on day four, and it is the fifth match. And as you can see, it's been straight games all the way so far. And up next, it's an absolute classic. Former champions facing off against each other. Rachnok Interdon taking on Nozomi Okuhara in the women's singles. Well, looking at the draw, how about that for a entry list? And Se Young, Beiwan Zhang up at the top, and they will, one of them, will play the um, winner of this match. But still to come, we've got Chen Yufei against Mia Blickfeld, Abing Zhao against Wang Jiyin, and all Chinese round three. And, well, just one of those players, Nozomi Okuhara, former champion, unseeded. Unbelievable strength in the women's singles division these days. And two players here that. Well, I guess you could say they've had a glittering career already. Now looking for further glory. Here's Ratchanok Intanon. Now 28 years old and 10 years ago when she was 18, became the youngest ever world champion right here on this stage. Currently ranked seventh in the world, obviously, has been a Former world number one. And Nozomi Okuhara also coming up on the entrance platform. Currently ranked 36, has also been former world number one. Now 28 years old as well. Two great names in the women's singles game. And both about to put on a very good performance for all the fans here. And there are a lot of fans here at the Royal Arena. Such a great turnout. It has been all week. Can only imagine what it's going to be like over the weekend for finals weekend. Nozomi Okuhara, unfortunately, has had to.